Bob McCarthy here for Celebrity Boxing 8. I'm joined right now with a television icon over the last four decades. From 8 is Enough to Charles in Charge to VH1 Celebrity Flick Club, he makes his fighting debut tomorrow night. I'm here with the one and only Willie Ames. Willie, tomorrow night, it's you in the double shot of love. Mike Fazio, he was out there for the weigh-in. He's starting with you. What's going on? What are your thoughts going into your big matchup tomorrow night? Well, you know, the only thing I can think of is him on the mat. That guy, I, honestly, you can make fun about me you can make fun of my shows you can do a lot of stuff the guys go on after my family the reason my wife left me that kind of stuff is dirty pool and w when it, when somebody gets into me like that I, I just all I see is red I mean uh, so honestly even I'm afraid of me tomorrow he's making it personal how's the training been going how long you been training for I've been training for the last couple of weeks you know I had pneumonia for about four weeks you know I got over that got to a point where I could get into the ring uh, you know, one of the things that he probably doesn't know is a good friend of mine is Kansas City Golden Gloves boxer, so I was at Title Boxing working out with him. Uh, spent a little bit of time at the gym out here, so I'm, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I got a long way to go, and uh, really I want to use this guy as, as, a, as a place to tee off because, uh, quite honestly, uh, what's his name? Um, Ta Taylor, the Taylor, Taylor, made. Taylor made guy jumped yep. in on his behalf. That really ticked me off. I mean, it's like, all right, let's pick on the veteran. Uh, you know, all right, that's great because, uh, you know, what, what I may lack in, uh, in, in expertise as far as boxing, uh, I, I have a lot more psychological advantage. Willie, really, you're a television icon. There's no doubt about it. All the fans are coming out from the Groves tomorrow night to see you box. This is an incredible event. You know, he's been calling you out. He's been making it personal. Here he is, a new kid on the block, getting a little five minutes of television fame. You've got four decades under your belt. What do you think about his new kid, new kid on the block trying to make a name for himself? Well, I think what he's trying to do is he's, he's trying to knock off an old war horse, you know. I mean, and, and you, you better be careful because a lot of times those war horses, they stomp you right in the dirt. And, uh, you know, that's his big thing right now is he's trying to make a name for himself by knocking me off. Well, look, I didn't survive 40 years in this business because I quit easy. So he better come prepared to go the distance if he goes the distance because I, I got news for you, man. I am going to unleash on the kid. This is a boxing challenge. What would you think is one of the biggest challenges you ever faced? Now, you're going in the ring, but outside the ring, you've battled it all. What would you say? What would you compare to this boxing match tomorrow night to something that happened in your life? Well, you know, I, I, I think, uh, to, honestly, the last year, I, and, and quite seriously, the last year has been probably the toughest year of my life. You know, I went through a bankruptcy. I lost my wife. I lost my house. There's a lot of stuff. I thought that was tough. Uh, and, and psychologically it was tough. I would say right now my biggest thing is focus and, and get uh, tuned in on what's happening, and I've been able to do that partially because of his big mouth. And I, and I would say that this is, you know, it's, it's equally as tough because this is my start over. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go back to school. I'm trying to get my financial degree. I want to change some things around in my life, and this kid's trying to make a mockery of it. So, you know, I, I'm not going to let him get away with it. What do you think? How many rounds do you think it's going tomorrow night, Willie? What do you think? You know, you, you always want it to go down in one. I mean, I can when I close my eyes, I can see him going down in one. But you got to be prepared to go the distance. It's just like anything else. You know, it's like acting, the entertainment industry, whatever it is. You think you're going to get it right away, but you got to be prepared to take all the shots. That's it, folks. You heard it here from Willie Ames. He's going the distance tomorrow night. Celebrity Boxing 8, May 16th, South Philadelphia. Ames and Fazio. It is going to be the South Philly Slugfest.